Okay, this is a dilation to a factor of 2, and we are going to label our coordinates. A is at 4 to the left and 2 down. 4 to the left and 2 down is negative 4, and 2 down is negative 2. B is 4 to the left and 2 up, so 4 to the left is negative 2, and 2 up is positive 2. C is not it's neither left or right, so that is 0. And then up 2 is positive 2. So that's the location of point C. D is neither left or right, and it's down 2. So 0, negative 2 for down 2. Now we have to dilate, dilate this to a factor of 2, so what we're going to do is take each x and y and multiply them by 2. So negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8. Negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8. And 2 times 2 is 4. 0 times 2 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4. And finally, 0 times 2 is 0 again. And 0 times negative 2 is negative 4. Now we have our new prime coordinates, and we are going to place points on each one. So negative 8a prime is negative 8. So we're going over to the left, 8, and down negative 4. And we're going to put the point right there. Negative 8, positive 4 for B prime. So to the left again, but this time it's positive 4. So we're going to go up and put the point right there. And don't forget to label this is A prime. And this is B prime. C prime is 0, 4. So... It's neither left or right, and you go up 4. Put the point there, and label it C prime. 0, negative 4 is D prime. So 0 is neither left or right. Instead of going up, you have negative 4. You go down, and you put the point right there. And you label it D prime. So now, the last thing to do of course, is to go ahead and connect the, all of the points. Just like this. And you'll see that you have a square that is larger than what we started with.